Okay. Let's go. Welcome to a little bit different edition of Beacon's weekly podcast, Decaf Today. Taylor and Mark here. And um, if you're listening to this, it is no surprise that Nashville and Middle Tennessee, Putnam County, Cookville, we've had kind of a, a dark, sad hard week um monday disaster struck in the middle of the night and um a band of severe weather that we kind of knew was going to be coming through ended up being a little more severe than than we thought it would be i'm not sure that the thing is i don't know about you but i I feel like the the tornado one is kind of late at night they were where a lot of people were actually probably already in bed and didn't see anything about it Um, well it was worse than anyone thought it would be and kind of came as a surprise and took the community by surprise and because of that um what i think is really amazing about humanity is you can say what you want about it but we really do care about each other and a lot of organizations and people have answered the call for need um and this week on decaf we want to talk more about that than anything else because as far as tennessee is concerned this is the most important thing that's um, right going on right now and at the end of kind of this show and and on our website uh and in the email that you're gonna get uh we will have specific charities that we think are going to be good to give to Mm -hmm. so we'll kind of go into detail about what they do so people know but it is obviously with a, a big election day yesterday it is really awesome to see that mm-hmm. it's not politics that's mm-hmm. overcoming us. It's not people arguing about which candidate they like or arguing with the other side. And it just, it really has been a, a community effort just seeing Facebook, like all the people coming yeah. together. And I, I still went and voted later last night and was at a super site of five different polling places. Because your one. site was closed, right? Because my side was without power. And um, I was at a super site and people kept sending pizzas. It was the craziest thing. I waited for two hours, and That's people, awesome. pizza people kept coming in because people were sending pizzas to all the folks that were waiting to vote because they had five polling places crammed into one. So they were feeding people who were there. I mean, and, and that was just the sentiment of the day yesterday. People, Bridgestone Arena opened up yeah. for people to come in. A lot of um, a lot of people who were doing relief efforts, the, the restaurants opened and said, we have co- free coffee, free meals for anyone who's doing this. And, you know, on, a, on Super Tuesday, when most of the country is trying to decide yeah. who to nominate for president and tensions can get really high, none of that mattered as uh, in our immediate community. Doesn't that show you? I mean, I, I just don't. We, we see the media and a lot of people. We're just not as divided as a country as as they make it out to be. No, not at all. And it's like, yes, we of course we have arguments and we have people who are politics we disagree with, but like ultimately, eighty or ninety percent of people are just good people. Yes. And they care more about their community than they do about individual politicians. Just seeing my Facebook and like looking at the tour, I, I watched a video of a guy kind of saving kids from a from a a building that was collapsing, mm-hmm. and you see all these things on like the on the Facebook feature. We can see the tornado natural. Yes. It's like. It makes you realize how great things are. And even though we want to disagree about stuff like it, politics doesn't matter. No. Policy differences don't matter. This People point. matter. People matter. And everyone has really shown at Nashville community and the middle Tennessee community and Putnam County. Like it really showed this unity that mm-hmm. it, I feel like we should be the example for the I rest know. of the country. I'm really proud to, to live here because it, it's so it's so true. I mean, people are taking off work to go help clean up. People are giving everything that they have, you know, go going through their houses and saying, do I have trash bags, do I have gloves, do I have whatever, to give anything that they've got to help the people who need it. And, and let's talk about this, too, because I think that it's important that, I, even as a staff, we've kind of been talking about this, but about volunteering and doing stuff, and that yeah. is so important for sure, and we're going to do something as a staff. But honestly, at this point, mm-hmm. it seems like donating is actually going to be more effective. So what, what's the organization, the Hands On Nashville? Hands On Nashville, their list, I checked their list. Which is a volunteer <laughs> like, organization. Yeah, it's a, it's a volunteer organization. Yesterday morning, I think I checked their list, and they were already like well into the hundreds on their waiting list and now yeah now they're full so like even if you want to volunteer they're just saying like look it's going to actually do more harm than good for you to be out there because of of so many people which is great yeah in your community you know like we're going out in our individual communities and saying like okay a couple streets down from me they need some help go out and definitely do that but if you're thinking of coming from afar to volunteer a better thing that i think you could do we have two organizations here that are um 
all over Middle Tennessee, from Davidson County to Putnam County, giving people food and um, helping rebuild schools and churches and and community organizations that need it, people's homes. Um, so and, and basically, what, we're, what we are suggesting you do is, if you want to help, which we would really appreciate, it's mm-hmm. to give money. And, and we know you work hard for that. It's but like this is the better use of of your time rather than, rather Harvest, than trying to help. Second Harvest Food Bank is also taking bottles of water, sure. um, non-perishable food items. So Second Harvest Food Bank of Middle Tennessee, they're taking food and volunteers, um, but they need, people are without running water. People are without electricity, so that ev- so you know you think about it. Everything in your refrigerator is gone. Like all yep. the food that you might have bought on Sunday when you were meal prepping is gone. And again, a lot of these people don't have money. It's, no, like, it's exactly. not like they can afford. To, I mean, they're living paycheck to paycheck. It's hard to afford two right. different weeks of meals. You've been to the grocery store and it's all gone. Yeah. So Second Harvest Food Bank of Middle Tennessee, yes, they're taking food, but right there on their homepage, they've got tornado relief efforts, but they also have buttons where you can give food, give money or give your time Um, and so that's going to be a really good cause to give to the other one is the Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee they have set up a special fund for tornado relief and they'll help give that money where it is most needed and what's cool about that too is they pretty much give the money immediately so if you donate they get it very quickly it's not like they're waiting seven or eight months yeah this is a separate fund this is outside of their normal Community Foundation fund they've set up a completely different fund they actually I was looking at their Facebook page they received so much traffic to their donations page yesterday they had to set up a temporary donations page while they could boost up their server <laughs> so that more people could give. Like That's a great problem to really, have. It is a great problem to have. You know, we talk about it all the time. That this is what we believe in. We believe in private charity. We yeah. believe in giving to help our fellow humans. And now is as good a time as any. We love. We all love Tennessee. We love living here. If it wasn't Nashville, it could have, if it wasn't Cookville, it could have been another community. And this is just what it's all about is coming together and, and giving to people who are in need. And it's important to remember there's other charities and there's a lot of other great ways you can give money so it's we're not just saying oh give to one of these two charities these, yeah. are, these are just two that we have vetted we know are really good and we and know the we're money's gonna, gonna go. be giving to yes you. and we know the money's gonna go there but there is a lot of other great organizations too so don't feel like you need to just stick at this and and like taylor said a lot of people i i know that you might not have extra money but if you have water you have something you can just donate food or water wise that makes a huge difference too so uh from the clothes be- if you have trash bags full of kids clothes I and mean, yeah. you wouldn't believe like the the children whose homes were destroyed so anything that you have, just, you know, now's the time to to help people out. They need it. And also, we want to be a resource. If there's anything that you can't, you need help finding, saying, oh, I really want to help, or I can't find a place to do it, email us. We'll, yeah, we're email. super let plugged us know. in, in we, our community, and we'll, we'll help you. And we want to let you know how to best do it. So, I mean, this is kind of a week where we're just not going to really be focusing on policy or politics at all. And, like, we, we're mm-hmm. looking at rebuilding Middle Tennessee, and that's the most important thing to us. So feel free to call our office or email us if you have questions about the best way to help. And we will, on our Facebook, we're going to put this video up on Facebook. We're going to send an email to our entire entire list mm-hmm. um, and we'll put links to, to both of these yeah. charities and if you have other questions you say hey I saw this charity should I donate there the answer is probably yes yeah, but, it, but if you have questions yes, yeah. but if you have a question <laughs> so it's not just know. those two those are just two that we know are great and so. if you're in the immediate Nashville area and you want to do something more hands-on to help let us know yeah. I mean it's all nothing will be done in vain um, everything counts but we're, we're going to be giving bottled water and trash bags and food and things to to these groups and money to help rebuild um, but there are plenty of places that you can give there's plenty of things you can do um, now's the time yep so well thank you for joining us again let us know if you have any questions but we, we let appreciate us know if you need help yep. let us know if you know someone who yep. needs help and let us know if you want to help that's right and we appreciate your time and and uh it's a tough day, tough week for Nashville, but I think mm-hmm. that we can take the positive of all the great things that have happened, people coming together over all this, all the disaster right We're now. We're resilient. Yes. So, okay. Well, we will talk to you next week, hopefully on a little bit of a lighter note. Yes. <laughs> Thank you.